Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragonfin Soup. In the last video I showed you a bit about the game and what's going on and in this one I'm going to show you a survival mode run. So you choose your character, at the minute I have unlocked this uh, pretty little lady, Morgiana, but I'm going to start with Robin, seeing as she starts with a gun. Though Morgiana does start with some magic, and uh, we're going to be doing it on wrong turn apparently. So yeah, last time I went over a few of the mechanics just to get into grips with it and showing you some of the things and my theories of what they actually are. But this time I'll be showing you a full survival play to see how long it takes and how far I can get through. I just found a paper bag. That's that's pretty funny. Uh, it only gives me one water defense, but I think I may as well equip it anyway. This is going to be most of the video, going through menus and equipping items. I'll try and cut out as much of it as I can. Oh, and there was a, uh, a trap on the floor there, which uh, took some of my health away. Oh, I put a bomb down by accident. Jeez, I can't get away. Why can't I move? What's going on? Uh oh. Okay, I, uh, I only just got away from that. Um, I'll be showing you some of my tactics and uh, talking through some of the ways that I like to play this. Though I've still not really played it very much, I'm just uh, going on what I know and what I've learned so far. So yeah, always cut them trees down. Always uh, give yourself some clear sight of where you have to go. Not sure what these are about. You can move them one time, and uh, a lot of the time they don't really do anything, so I'm a bit confused about them things. Uh, when you cut down a tree, sometimes you get some wood as well. A leather front piece. That wasn't anything good. Okay, there's a sleeping enemy, so I come up behind him, do an attack. That should have done more damage than it would have had I come up in front of him. I really, really love the, the uh, style, the pictures in the corner as you're fighting them. I think they look great. They all seem to be in different styles as well. Oh, the tree fell on the enemy, which gave him two, uh, a stun of two. So I'm going to shoot him from a distance until he gets a bit closer. Cool. And yeah, don't worry about running out of the ammo, because you will find loads of ammo as you go. I mean, don't be silly with it and just fire off every shot, but you can use it a lot of the time without worrying. What was that? Whoa, took down a lot of his health in one. I can't aim at them both. Whoa, where did all these come from? Jeez. Yeah, so a good time to use the gun is when uh, there's a lot of enemies in one place. That way you can aim at them both. See, I can aim at both of these at the minute. Not that they will always get hit. As you see in the corner, it will say if, whether it's hit or missed. Oh, look at him, little Andrew Sargent. He's pretty cute. Well, he's kind of scary, but in a cute way. And my health is going down very fast. I've got to be careful. Whoa, he chucked a bomb at me. Leave off. The Weathered Stetson. What's that? Oh, it's a hat. Never heard of a Stetson before. Cool. Leveling up pretty quick. Already at level 5, so hopefully we find some weapons or armor in the minute, which we'll be able to use with that. Oh dear, my health at 24. I'm in the kind of stage of the game at the minute where I don't know whether it's a hard game or whether I'm just very bad at it. We've got Bone Ring. Cool. What will this do? This will give us a bit of defense. Another level up. Jesus, we're going up fast. Okay, there are three enemies in there and a few chests. And I think if I move these pillars forward, it will open them. And I found a shield. That's cool. And that is good, but I've normally found weapons by this point. Oh wow, I think my shield may have stunned him. That's pretty good if that is what it's doing. Uh, there was a boss enemy down there as well, so what I'm going to do is have a little look around for some more weapons before I go into something like that. The Bronze Twist, and this is something you wear on your ears. What does it do? We'll have a look. Uh, that was just air plus one, so it's not very good. Cool, leveling up really fast. Already level 7. Wow, there are a lot of enemies about. Uh, that little thing above me there, that means I can't use any of these special abilities. Or, uh, well, I can't use any of my my gun or my bombs, any, uh, my gun or my magic. Look at that. Powerful. Beautiful people. We've got a Jade Ring. That will give us a bit of defense and some earth defense. Oh, I can't equip it yet. I need to be level 9. Okay, here's a gold chest and I do have a key. Oh, I got ice blade. 
What does that do? A blade of ice will pierce your foes and deal water elemental damage. That looks pretty strong. We'll give that a go. Oh, a couple hats. Chewed up hat and a warm leather cap. Hmm. It's hard to say which one's better. Uh, the other one's got main defense. This one's just got... Uh, what is that, like, heavy attack defense or blunt attack defense? Something like that. Okay, I'm going to sneak up on this guy. I'll see if I can drop a bomb on him. There we go, there's a bomb on him. Oh, man. Shoot him in the back. Every time he steps, steps away, I'm taking a shot. And I don't know why he didn't attack me then. Uh, Berserk. Cool, we'll see what that does. Go Berserk. This increases your attack damage, but decreases your defense values. Cool. Sounds okay. I don't know if I'll be using it too often. Finding a lot of ammo about. And a little drink on that. That was lucky. Uh, okay, I'm going to push these things forward with X, is all you do. And there we go. That brought the, the things down and gave me some free zombie juice malt liquors. Sounds nice. Okay, this will get them both. So that's worth it. I think if I shoot with my gun... It might blow up the bomb. Yeah, I'm pretty sure shooting blows up their bombs, so remember that. Oh, he threw a bomb. Let's blow it up. Them bombs are really powerful. Cool. Oh, no, there were two gold chests. I should have saved one of my keys. Well, hopefully I'll find some keys. A fabric back piece. That's not anything very good. Do we kill the sheep? Only a complete monster would do that. So let's, let's give it a go. Did he dodge my gun? The sheep actually dodge out of the way. We've got sheep high wall and a mystery fillet mignon. Fillet mignon. What the heck? Can I eat it? Oh wow, I put my blunt damage slashing and piercing damage up one. Oh, and you see at the top of the screen it's got 33, so that will last 33 turns. That's pretty good. I don't think 33 is very much though. We probably won't even run into anything by then. Guess I should be using things like that if I actually get up to an enemy. Yeah, I'm all out. Wow, there's a lot of chests where you need keys for in this first area. And I really haven't found any weapons. I'm normally finding loads of weapons by this point. I'm already level 9, which means I can equip my Jade Ring now. Uh, Gunpowder. Whoa, whoa, he's big. Blue Chiag Shi. I'll drop a bomb on him. So I like to drop the bomb, walk away a space, so I'm out of the blast radius, but they're still in it, and then carry on attacking them. And, yeah, look at that. I'm not sure if that damaged me or not. Ooh, a chest came alive. And because he was a quest enemy, he dropped some magic, and we got Shadow Backstab. I think this is the one that the Morgiana, or whatever her name is, starts with. Lightning Fast Maneuver is followed by a backstabbing attack. I think it might be pretty good. And there's a pet here as well, which is really good. We've got Wooly. I don't think I've had Wooly yet. Who's Wooly? Or is it the sheep? Yeah, it's just the sheep. So you want to go on pets and equip it. So you can have two at a time, which is really cool. Oh, so these level up as well. That's that's pretty good. Oh, here's another key. That's cool. And there's a gun down there. Nice. Oh, and an onyx leather cap. That's probably pretty good. I need to be level 10 to equip it. Why am I? I'm only 9 at the minute. We've got hot shot, which I think is the handgun. Yep. Yeah. But I don't have any handgun ammo at the minute, so I can't use that just yet. Oh, rusty sword. This this is pretty good. This does several attacks as you use it. So uh, I'm going to use that in place of my shield, I think. Oh, There was a hard decision, because I also have this Iron Dewey Sami, whatever you can pronounce that. And uh, that will hit over two floors, and that does six damage. So the things I've got at the minute do two and four, so that's also six. But yeah, listen, see if you can hear, because you might not be able to see the amount of attacks that the sword does. You hit it, it's like, bring, bring, so it hits quite a few times. I've got a wooden ring. So a lot of this is going into the menu and equipping it, but it's pretty fun, I like it anyway. Look at that, all them hits it does, that's cool. Uh, level up again, we're level 10, which means we can equip the hat. That's cool. I would really like it if your character uh, changed their appearance as you equip these new things. I think that would be really good. 
Oh, and you see that he's trying to escape me, so I'm going to shoot him in the back. Pow. Let's try this orange thing. This could be good. It could be bad. It was bad. It's got spikes all around me now. I'm going to shoot this wolf from a distance. I wonder if the spikes affect the wolves. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm going to sneak up behind this skeleton. Oh, he didn't, he didn't allow me to do it. Whoa, yeah, he did. He's only a level one, though, so... Oh, more chests. A bronze ring. The bronze ring will give us extra defense, so we want to equip it. We've got four ring slots available, and we just filled them all up. Yeah, these things happen all the time. You see that little random explosion? I really don't know what that is. I don't know if any of my stats are affected. It's just like, there's random little explosions about all the time. Doesn't like I lost any health or anything like that. Whoa, and it was a mime, but he's nearly... A mime? <laughs> a mimic. He's nearly dead, though. And he is dead. What have we got? Hooked scimitar. But I probably can't make this until I'm level a billion anyway. Let's look. Oh, level 9. So I probably can make it. Silver plate, leather strips, leather strips, silver blade blank. I've just not had any of the stuff that I need to make anything yet in all the runs I've had. But I haven't got that far, so... I just don't know how many floors this is going to be. I don't know if it's just going to be 10 or... It could be 100. I've got no idea. Because you get to, like, level... Well, I've seen things that you need you can't use to your level 50, so... I don't know what level you can get to. It's all a mystery at the minute, and that's what I like. That's what makes me want to play it. Okay, have I got the key to get in here? Um, I've got one key. Go on, then. I've got the speed handgun ammo. That's cool. So now I've got the hot shots... And the speed handgun ammo. I've only got six of them, though. But that means I can use my handgun. That was cool. You have to cut down them trees, or I wouldn't have known about all this. And there's another shield here. Simple wooden shield. It was another bad one. What? What? Oh, so you, you can walk diagonal out of it. That, that's, that's pretty good. Remember that. Why didn't I think about that in the last one? Ooh. Secret path. What's this? Oh, it was a rock. Not very good. Okay, there's nothing down the secret path. Oh. No. Okay, so you look at the map, you see there's an area there. So I'm going to go over there and see if there's anything I'm missing. I really don't know if I'm supposed to be keeping my steps to a minimum or anything like that. Ooh, got a strong little knife here. Let's give that a go. Ah, oh, yeah, shovel, yeah. So, uh, you get, like, fishing rods and shovels and stuff. I haven't yet found a fishing rod myself, but uh, th with the shovel, you see down there, it's got three turns left, and you just dig up a little hole. And sometimes you find stuff, sometimes you don't. I've found stuff a few times. Nothing any good, really. Oh, I got, I got more turns than I thought. Yeah, yeah, normally just, like, little bits and pieces, like healing item or ammo, wood, something like that. What is that? There's always puffs of smoke. I have no idea what's going on. Really not sure what that's about. Hmm. Oh yeah, you see there on the left, all them stats and stuff that are coming up, like uh, arrow, shield, swords. It's wherever you're standing, your stats are different. So you could be standing on spikes like I was then and it made me weaker. Or maybe standing in grass and it would change your stats. Or there's higher ground and lower ground. So there's a lot of different things to... Whoa, I did not notice him. A lot of different things to be wary about while you're playing. Shoot them both because uh, they're both in range at the minute. Let's try out that handgun. See if that's any better. It is stronger than the gun I'm using at the minute, and the ammo. The ammo gives it extra thirteen. Oh, wrong one. Let's uh, shoot this. Wow, you can shoot really far. You see how far them red dots are going? He's a big guy. What? That's really weird. I don't know if I can attack him. Where is he? Oh, he might be in between... Oh, right. I was looking in the wrong place. Well, he leveled me up. I'm level 12 now. Did he drop anything good? I can't pick it up. It's like in the rocks. What the heck? What does this do? Whoa. Is there any point to it? 
Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> Is it worth it? I don't know. I guess I could have pushed pushed that in one of one of four of these slots, so maybe I did the wrong one. Okay, I'm going to be using my shotgun again, so I'm putting all this back. And there's three of them over here, so... Yes, I can aim at all three at once. That's cool. Not that it hits them every time, but... Still good. Get them, sheep. I've cornered myself in there. It's not very smart. Okay, this guy's stunned, so I'll go for him. Try and take him out while he's gone. Got him. And I'll sneak up behind this ghost while my sheep's in front of him. There we go. That was big damage. All about the sneaking up behind them. That does loads. Uh, I don't think I've yet found the stairs to the next level. A oh, broadsword. Is that any good? Flick knife. Uh, broadsword up here. Oh, rusty. Where is it? Is this it? Broad... Bronze broad. It's not even a broad sword, it's just a broad. Okay, we'll give that a, a little go. Oh, that's instead of the saw, and I like the saw. I like the saw because it hits multiple times, so I might switch out a weapon which is stronger for the less... For the not as strong saw, but it does do a lot more attacks. Yeah, I much prefer to have something that I hit three or four times... Rather than be a little bit stronger, because you can always miss. So if it's hitting more times, you've got more chance of hitting them. Another one of these rooms. What we got? We got some bullets, and we'll stay on this. And we got another eight bombs and two chests. We got another saw. Oh, and I think I'm using a rusted saw at the minute, so this saw should be stronger. Yes. It's uh, is a bit better. I wonder what two saws would be like, though. Wow. Bloody. It's really, really bloody. Uh, I'm going to get both swords out and see what it's like to have two on at a time. This will probably be loads of hits. Let's have a listen. It's like bring, 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 bring. So yeah, I, I think that's hitting quite a few times. Let's have another little look. It's gone night time. Yeah, we're doing a lot of hits. It's actually pretty powerful. Though I will test out this broad. I do want to see what that's like. Let's see. Yeah, it's all good. I've, I'll, I'll keep one at uh, one saw and, and, and the broad out, because it doesn't hurt to have one weapon that doesn't hit as many times. And that's another level up. We're level 13. We're still in the first area, so that's quite cool. Take out things from behind. That's what it's all about. Didn't your mother ever teach you that? I'm finding animal droppings all over the place, apparently. Doesn't like there's any more chests I can get, so I think I'm just going to look for the level exit, which should be in the top right, I think, because there's some area over there I haven't explored yet. Okay, teleporter just took me over here, and I think I'm going to uh, give my stuff to them, them gods rather than selling it. We'll see if we get anything cool happen. Okay, so this is the god of war, and the one over there is the god of... what was it? Something. God of the fence. I've got no idea. Okay, God of War. What do you want? We'll give you some old weapons I'm not using. Okay, he's pleased with my offering. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, he's blessed me with attack. Wow, look at all that stuff he's giving me. And that's for the next 600 turns, which is a lot. Okay, we'll talk to the God of Protection. That was it. We'll give him the shields, I think. Oh, he put my stuff down. He wasn't happy with that. Oh, damn. That's for 400, so... I guess I'm on kind of even grounds now, but uh, for the next 200, the last 200 of them, I should be a bit stronger. Okay, is there any uh, is there any stairs around to the next level? Oh, this is the exit. I've got some rubber flip-flops, though. I'm going to try them on. Oh, yeah, the God of Protection didn't want the shields, did he? He wanted the armors. What am I thinking? Silly me. Okay, yeah, we're going to leave, and we're going to go... Whoa! Teleported a mile away. Yeah, we're going to go to the next floor. Oh, we start with some of these uh, things below us, some of these platforms. So I think I'll have a look around for the, the thing telling us what order we've got to do them in. Oh, it's that one first. Then that one. Cool. Oh, big naked guy. I can't really see much. It's pretty, pretty nighttime. 
Bang. Bang. Oh, he's, he's, he's startled my sheep. Okay, I'm going to put in some extra ammo. What have we got? We've got some silver shot. Oh, give that a go. Don't think I've used them yet. That's got to be strong. I'm going to try this magic out. Uh, this little purple magic down here. Let's see. Oh, cool. You, you attack him and then you appear behind him. And then you do a backstab. That is pretty excellent. The sheep is in the way. Lots of big grass here you can cut through. An oak shield. I wonder how good that is. Uh, it does have free strength. It gives you a lot of defense. I think I'm going to use that instead of... Uh, instead of my... What was it called? My broad. Yeah, so that gives us a bit of defense. And I do think they attack. You see this little punch she's doing? So she's swinging the weapon and then punching. I think that's the uh, the shield attack. So the shield it does actually have an attack anyway. Wow, I got poisoned. I really hate getting poisoned. It seems to happen a lot. By, by the enemy rubber mud. Yeah, the shield's not too bad, and it is giving me a bit more defense, so... Okay, we're going to try this thing out. So we've got 25 turns with this thing. I think it does do some extra kind of damage. Look, you see all that kind of stuff flying off me? There's a lot of blue stuff coming out this time. I think that's from using this uh, crystal. What the heck? Oh, there's an orange square. These guys aren't too bad. I'm doing a lot of hits. Which is really good. And I think with the shield, it may have more chance of doing the little stun thing. Where uh, it brings up that number. Because look, I'm getting I'm getting that quite a bit now. It's all about stunning the enemies. That's good. So sh sword and shield might be quite cool. Or uh, saw and shield anyway. Oh, this was another bad one. You see that? We've got some... Uh... Oh, I managed to get away. Uh, there there would have been like spikes appearing out of that. I think it's go diagonal if it ever turns bad and you get out of there. There's another one. And that was a chest, but that could be a mimic. We'll see. I don't think it was. Wow, I'm getting a lot of damage. Oh no, the blue stuff is still coming out of me, so it wasn't that which I got. A bronze rod. That's not a fishing rod, is it? No, it's just a rod. Okay. It may be hard to see what's going on as a viewer, but... What? Look at that spike trap. Okay, there's a little spike trap there, then it's there, and now it's there. What? What the heck? What on earth? That's a little glitch, isn't it? But yeah, um, it may be quite hard to see what's going on as a, a viewer for the video, but when you're playing it, you'll really understand what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the stuns in. I think that using the shield is good for the stuns, and I'm running out of health. Let's uh, restore 25% with this. Wow, I really like that pig's uh, design in the corner. Oh, and the crab. They all look so good. It looks like clay. Kind of claymation. Yeah, look at him. He looks sick. Well cool. Oh, a big sword over here. And a sleeping baddie. Cool, we got him in one. The Laura Mandragora. Uh... So this sword is pretty powerful. It did... Whoa, look at that. So I replaced my shield with my sword, and and now I get three attacks. Uh, although the shield is stunning them, I think, and it does seem pretty good, I'm going to opt for the three attacks. Oh, that is big damage. You see his health going down well quick. Oh, I've got a pea shooter. What's this? Is this a handgun? Yeah, I think it is, and it may be stronger than the other handgun I've got. Let's see. One does 28, and this one does 34. Oh, scary. So I'm going to sell some of my weapons to the guy. I think I'm going to keep the shield for now, because it seems quite good. I might use it in the future, but I'll get rid of all this armor that I haven't been using, and all the old weapons that I haven't been using. And does he have anything good to buy? Yeah, look at that laser rifle. That really looks like it was taken straight out of the Fallout universe. 
Um, but I don't have any ammo for it, so I can't really buy it just yet. It's quite expensive as well. Hmm. What's this? Oni smile? Is that a mask? That's quite cool. You need to be level 37 to use it, though, so I'm definitely not that. A rolling pin. And what's this? Gold tongue. That looks really, really cool, but I'm... You need to be level 33 for that, and I am not. Yeah, so nothing I'm going to buy from him at the minute. It does all look really good, though. Okay, I'm in the corner of the map, so I'm going to have a little look around the rest of the area. Or we'll go behind this grass. Anything here? Oh, there's a chest and a little... What are they call Yoke crab? Yeah. I want to have a pet again. I miss uh, I miss my pet. Is my sheep about? Did he die or something? Oh, I don't have any ammo equipped. Let's uh, put this orange shot in. They're a bit more powerful than the first shot you start with, but they're not the best. What happened there? Oh, the floor poisoned me. Uh... Ooh, another pig man. Let's get him. Wow, I counter-attacked. I'm not sure how i done that. And there, he got stunned again. So I'm not really sure how the stun works or why they're getting stunned. I thought it was the shield, but they seem to still be getting stunned a bit. Oh, I got all three of these in order so far. Who's this guy? Oh, he's a quest bar bad guy. Oh, and there's a sheep fighting him. Where the heck has my sheep been? Is this my sheep? Earth Golem. Oh, look at all that damage. Smashing him. Loads of XP, cool. And a new magic. Hey, hey, eight Buster. What does that do? This packs one hell of a punch. Cool, let's give it a look. It only does two, uh, two MP as well, so we could give that a go. Let's check. Check it out. Whoa, we sent him flying. It's pretty cool. Poisoned again. Oh, I'd like to get some regeneration magic. That'd be really cool. Are these, uh, are there more of these? Okay, there's two more of these platforms up above, whoa, uh, up here, so I'll check them out, and it's 50-50 whether I get them in the right order or not. Doesn't matter if you don't, you can always come back and do them again. Okay, I, I messed it up, that wasn't right. Okay, let's see, what order was it? Ooh. Oh, what, the, the level entrance and exit is right next to each other, I didn't notice. Okay, so it was, so it was kites, I like to call it, kites. Left, right. Uh, closed eye, open eye. Cool. And we only got four, four bombs for that, so uh, it's nothing too amazing. But I think you may as well do it while you're here, if uh, if you can anyway. Um, although I'm at the exit, I think I'm gonna have a look look around the area a bit more because. I need to get more levels, more weapons, and stuff like that. Rather than going to level 3 and just being out of my depth already. Unless something about the steps taken is making it harder for me. Oh, oh, traps everywhere. What's this? Is my oh, it's my sheep. A mimic. I'm running low on health. I was just doing so many hits. My weapons are actually doing really good. Three hits with the weapon and the saw that does loads of attacks. It's really cool. I like what I've got going at the minute. Okay, this crab hasn't seen me, so BAM! That's powerful. He had a lot of health, Jesus. But well, I am level 18 now. What's this? Oh yeah, this thing I've found as well. I'm not really sure if I'm doing this properly or not. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing this properly or not, but you see there is a, a sword in the stone, and I'm not really sure how you take it out of there, so I've just been attacking it, and I guess it's kind of just like a chest or something, because it's got a sword in there, Tempered Greatsword. That's pretty powerful, let's uh, give that a little look. Oh, that's brought me down to only two attacks, which is a little bit sad. What I'm going to do... I'm going to switch out the Boken, or the Boken, or whatever it is, for my axe, my saw, sorry. And uh, now I've got my two... Yeah, there you go, there's the three attacks again. So it doesn't have all the attacks of the saw where it hits multiple times, but I am actually getting three big hits in every time. And there's nothing I can do. Wow. 
Here we go, we've got simple wooden shield. No, a raspberry for one. So, okay, so even some... Whoa. Even something as easy as a simple wooden shield. Can we make it? Okay, level two you need to be. So, maple board, maple board, iron nails. I don't have any other things. There's 524 recipes. Jesus, that's a lot. Oh, I'm going to use my shotgun, I think, while there's loads of enemies here. There's four enemies. It seems that even if you're shooting them, they can't detect where you are unless they've actually seen you. So you can just shoot at them from behind and not worry about it. Oh, my health's getting low. But I'm feeling, I'm feeling okay. Need some more ammo equips. Oh, silver-plated rifle ammo. That's sick. I haven't had a rifle before. Uh, okay, we've got these, which are the strongest ammo I've found so far. Whoa. Look at all that. Level 19. Yeah, and even though I'm on a level 2, everything seems to be going pretty easily. It's just once I get to level 3, I actually just just get rubbish. Everything's so much better than me. Let's try this uh, attack going behind him again. Oh, I appeared on his spot. The animal droppings, they're making them shit themselves. Oh, and there's another quest, uh, or a boss, anyway, so we'll be able to get some new magic. Can I sneak up behind him? I'm not sure if that was behind him or not. He has a lot of health. Oh, and I don't. I need to heal. Cheap cheaters. Use the spell on him. Appeared behind him. That's cool. We're behind him now. Oh, and he's frozen. And he's dead. He dropped another magic. Cool. Blind. Oh, haven't had that one before. Temporary blinds the target and reduces their hit rate. So that costs six MP to use. I need to start using my magic a lot more because I'm just running. Like I'm just losing it every time. I'm not really using it very much. And your MP heals as you go. So there's no reason to not be casting loads of spells. I guess. Oh, tempered greatsword again. Now I think this will be stronger, but I don't think. I don't think I'll get many hits in. Oh, those those pretty strong though. Well, I guess I'm fighting grass, so. Does that sound like it's doing more than two hits to you? It's like it's doing four. Yeah, I'm gonna keep these swords because I'm pretty sure it's doing four hits at a time. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm feeling pretty strong now. I think I'm going to have a look around for a couple more chests and then maybe go to the next area. Ooh, up another level. Ooh, and a new gun. The Decider. That sounds really cool. What is this? Is this a handgun? The Decider. Traditional dueling pistol. That's really cool. The best way to settle any disagreement. I like the guys who made this game. They, serve a bit, they sound like they have a bit of a, of a sense of humour. So is this, this is just a pistol, so I don't have much ammo for it, but... I'm going to be using that soon against some enemies. We're going to try one of these loop things out. Before I try out the loop thing, I'm going to clear all this grass to give me a bigger area to do it in. Oh, a storage box. Okay, yeah, so I attack it. I've got the 25 turns, so I'm just going to be walking around in a big old square. Five, four, three. Okay, that should be enough. And we got some handgun ammo. Cool, poison-tipped handgun ammo as well. Is that stronger than the handgun ammo I'm using? No, not at the minute, but poison tip sounds good. And there's an orange thing over here. We'll give it a go. And it gave us a chest, which was a mime. Ooh. Yeah, he's still getting stunned. I'm really not sure what it is that stuns them, but hopefully I'll find out eventually. Recipe for a shovel. Hmm. Shovel, you need to be level 5. Oh, there's so much stuff. I don't know how you're ever going to craft anything. In fact, I'm going to put all my crafting stuff away in that storage box while I'm here. So yeah, I've got everything in this area that I want to get, so I'm just going to head off to the exit after I've killed this enemy. And we're going on to level 3, so I expect that I'm probably just going to die like I do normally. 
Oh, Blue Milk Caves. I haven't been in this place yet. And Walking Dead Season 2 is installed. Thank you. Yeah, I haven't been in this area. It looks quite pretty cool. wonder what kind of enemies we'll be finding. Okay, I'm going to try out this uh, this loop thing see if it does anything good. Loop, 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 loop. Did that do it? Yeah, I did something. Oh, it stunned the enemy. And this guy went down to half health. So I guess it does stuff to enemies if they're in there, or you can uh, get some treasure for doing it. Wow, that's big damage with that gun. That gun's pretty good. It's good to shoot through so many enemies at once. And wow, my health is really going down. This is this is not good. Wow, 30% HP. That's cool. 134 hit points. Oh, I should use my magic. I keep forgetting. Okay, I blow I blound a few enemies. Let's see what. Punch him away. I'm going to use that ice attack, see if that does anything. Wow, there we go. Cool. Level up. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to keep using my magic, because they're probably the things that are going to keep me alive at this point. Ooh, look at all that health. Oh god, I'm dying. Oh, and it's game over. Just like that. See, that's what I say, every time I get to level 3 I die. Maybe I should be a bit more tactical and stay away from the enemies, but... Oh, I'm just not doing very good. I'll get used to it though, I haven't played many times. So, thanks for watching, that's just Dragonfin Soup, and uh... I think it's a really good game, and it's free, so you better get it in the next month. It's a, that'd be a really good idea. And uh, we'll see you next time. Keep watching Little Viking, I love ya. Goodbye.